Welcome to yet another WordPress video tutorial. Today we are going to be learning how to add an about page and a contact page to our WordPress website. So if you've been following along in this tutorial series, you'll have this sample page up here in your nav bar. And we don't really want this sample page. It's just there for demonstration purposes. It came here pre-installed on our WordPress website when we installed it. So let's go ahead and get rid of it by clicking on edit page up here. And then once a page loads, you can see down here, you can move this to the trash. So go ahead and click on that. And that's gonna take you to your pages page in your WordPress dashboard. There's also this privacy policy down here. We wanna get rid of that too. So you can go ahead and put that in the trash. Now I went ahead and made this about page called Meet the Serial Guru. Let's go ahead and go in there and see what that's all about. You're gonna to wanna to do something similar for your WordPress website. You can just type something up that explains the purpose of your website, introducing yourself to your readers, and maybe throw in a picture or two, and it's up to you how fancy you wanna have it. But once you do get something like this, you can go ahead and click Publish, and you'll see here that we can click this link up top here that says View Page, and that's what it looks like when we go to that page. But the thing right away that jumps out at me is this tab in the nav bar that we have selected called Meet the Serial Guru. I want that to say About, but how do we change that without changing the name of the page itself? Because if we change the name of this page to About, then this Meet the Serial Guru title is going to go away. So the way you do that is not in this customize menu. It's not in this edit page menu. We actually have to go to our WordPress dashboard in order to change the text of this navbar item. So once you're in there, you go down here to appearance and menus. And what we have to do here is to create a new menu. I kind of hate the way that this is set up, but go ahead and make a menu and call it navbar or whatever you want to call it. Create that menu and over here in this manage locations tab, you want to associate the navbar with the primary menu. And the primary menu is that menu that goes across the top of your website just below the header. So go ahead and do that. Click Save Changes. And then back on the Edit Menus tab, we want to add the Meet the Serial Guru to the navbar. So go ahead and click on Add to Menu. And this is where we're going to change the text of that navbar. So instead of Meet the Serial Guru, we're going to say About. Go ahead and click Save Menu. And once that's finished, we can go back to our website and see the changes reflected. And there you go. We have about instead of meet the serial guru. And once you go to that page, you see meet the serial guru right at the top like we want it. The next part of this tutorial is to add a contact page. It's going to be something similar to what we just did. But first, we want to install a plugin that allows visitors to send us messages directly from a page on our website. So go ahead and go to plugins, add new. And we're going to look for something called Contact Form 7. It's this first one up here in the upper left-hand corner. So you can go ahead and click Install Now. And then once that's finished installing, like usual, we can click on Activate. Now you can go down here and click on Settings for Contact Form 7. And we're going to go ahead and edit this contact form that they have pre-installed for you. Now, I'm just going to change this around a little bit. You can do what you want, but I wanted to say name instead of your name get rid of this required, get rid of that required, and just say email. I don't want my users to type in a subject, so I'm going to get rid of that whole section here. And to make it more personal, I'm going to say, what would you like to ask or let me know instead of your message? I think it just sounds a little bit nicer. And then instead of having a button that says send, we're going to say click here to send me your message. So a couple more edits. I'm going to call this contact form instead of contact form one and save that. And then over here in this mail tab, it's already pre-populated with your email address that you use to sign up for your account. So that's perfect. Unless you want to change it, you can change it to whatever you want. I'm going to change the subject to new message from your name. And this is kind of like short text. So if you remember from the previous screen, we called the name field your name. And then on date, again, short text for date is underscore date. And that's a specific date format, which you can figure out how to do and customize in the docs over here. So that looks good. But actually, I want to change around this from field. Instead of being from the serial guru, I want it to be from the serial guru contact form. And I want it to come from the email address contact at serial dot guru. If you want to learn how to set up email addresses, just go back a few tutorials. I'll link it up here in the right hand corner if you want to learn how to do that. Okay, so the message body looks good and we're going to go ahead and save these changes. 
Now at this point we created a contact form, but we need to insert that contact form in a page. So we go over here to pages, add new. We're gonna call this page, send the serial guru a message. Again, it's better than just calling it contact. Now you can type whatever you want. This is what I'm gonna type in here, but the critical part is this short text again. Between these two brackets, you want the contact dash form dash seven, and then title equals the name of your contact form. So if you didn't change it from contact form one, you wanna put contact form one in here. Otherwise, if you change it to contact form, then that's what you wanna type inside those double quotes. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and preview it, and there you go. We have the title and then a short description about what this page is about, then form fields for the name, email, and the message body. So I really like the way that looks. Let's go back here and publish those changes. One thing we wanna change here is instead of calling this send the serial guru a message, we're gonna call it contact. So we can go to serialguru.com slash contact. Uh, that's better, let's go ahead and update that and preview the changes, and there we go. But actually we have to add the link to the contact form up here in the nav bar. So we already know how to do that. Let's go back over to our dashboard to appearance and menus. And just like we did with the about page, we can do this with the contact page. So go ahead and click on the contact page checkbox and add to menu. That'll show up here. And instead of calling it that, let's call it just contact. So that way in the nav bar, it shows up as just contact. We'll save it and then go to our website and voila, you have your about page and your contact page and everything looks good. All right, that's it for this video. Stick around to the next one. We're gonna be talking about how to install an anti-spam filter onto our WordPress website. See you then.